Hello everybody, Evil Demon Master, and welcome back to another video. So, I will show you guys how Undercity used to be in Classic and how is it right now in a retail world. So now, I'm going to show you guys how Ogamar used to be in Classic world. So let's get started. And then after that, I will show you guys how Ogamar used to be right now in retail world. Alright, so. Here's what Ogamon is. Well, here's what the map looks like, by the way. So the map looks like this. This is what it looks like. This is Duratar. And then if you click on Ogamon, this is what the map actually looks like in we. I mean, in Classic WoW. So there's various spirits, the various strength, the cliff of shadow, value of honor, and the value of wisdom. So this is what the map looks like. So now I'm going to show you guys what the city looks like for Classic. Alright, so, right now I'm going to be heading inside, and we're going to go straight in. So yeah, this is what the entrance looks like in Classic. So you have like the whole band over there, and then you another whole band over there too. So this is what the entrance look like in Classic. Let me just, uh... To, uh, go keep going back a little bit and there you go this is what the entrance actually looked like when the game first came out in 2004 and this is like the old old Ogamar how it used to be when the game came out and then when lots of expansions came out Ogamar has been changed around that's when I'll show you guys when I get to it so I'm just heading inside right now you can also wave to a guard too, so let's see if it works. Um Yep. So you can wave to a guard. Alright, we're now in Ogamar. Alright, now we're gonna go this way. And go the other way. Alright, so, this is what the Ogamo actually looked like in uh, Classic. So, over here we have a campfire, and uh, there's some signs, which you can, it tells you. So, you have a drag, Valley of Honor, Valley of Wisdom, and Class of Shadow, and Valley of Spirits. So, if you don't know how to get to your way, just look at the signs, and it'll tell you where to go. Alright, so we're gonna go this way, and if you uh, look at the sign, it says Ogoma General Store, so this is the General Store, so you can buy stuff Big from friend. the General Goods, Lotar. and you can uh, buy stuff from the, other, from the Trade Goods, Speak. so the General Goods and the Trade Goods, if you wanna buy something. And then up here, there's really nothing over here. So there's nothing up here. Alright, moving on. We're gonna go this way now. Now, this building is the Horde Emissary. So, this is where you can make your guild from this guy right here. Blood and thunder. You can go to uh, How Do I Form a Guild. And you need to go to Ready to Show a Guild Charger. So, I don't have one. Now, you need to, or oh, actually, you have to, uh, to click victory. on, uh, purchase a gear charger, and you need at least 10 silver to make it, and you need 10 people to sign it to get it going. And over here, this is your tabyard vendor, if you want to buy some tabyards, it only costs one gold. Alright, moving on, we're gonna go this way now. And, uh, let me just zoom out. There we go. We got another campfire over here. Okay, and then we're gonna go... This way. So there's another sign. There's Hall Legends, Valley of Spirits. And this is like an empty building. There's nothing in here. Well, actually, you think... You can go inside this building and climb this. And then you can go up here. And then there's more stuff you can look at or see stuff. So we got Telling Gate, Hall Legends, Valley Spirits, Valley Wisdom, and Cliff of Shadow. 
And we're gonna go this way to this bridge. And this is where the flight master is. You go over here and you talk to this guy. What are you looking so this for? This is your wind rider master. Sub sub. Go. Okay, and then this is the wind riders. This is what they look like. And uh, there's nothing up here, so we're gonna go down now. All the way down. Alright, now we're gonna go here. And then there's another campfire. And then another sign called the Sky Tower. Which is basically up there. Also, there's a zeppelin up there too. So that doesn't work at all. It just it's like a decoration. So it doesn't do anything. It just stands there. Alright, so Rally Spirit is that way. And then this is the bo the boomstick endpoint. And then in this building, a this puts a uh, vendor sells um, ammo and uh, shot parts. So this is if you are like a, either a warrior or not, a, yeah, a warrior, and then you have a gun attached to you, you can come to this vendor and buy some light shots for ten copper, and uh, it's for your gun. If you want to reload your gun, you need ammo. Alright, over here is the Ogama Auction House. This is how the, this is the auction house you, in Classic. So there's like, uh, three vent, uh, auction houses you can go to. And this is what the auction looks like. So there's two hours, eight hours, and twenty-four hours. So yeah, this is the old Classic Auction, how it used to be. And it used to be a glitch when the game came out where you can actually uh, get up there, but I think they got rid of it, so you can't like go through visible walls anymore. I'm not sure if you can still do it, but so I'm not too sure though. Okay, so now we're going to uh, start going this way, and this building right here. If you go in here, this is your inner keeper. What are you, you can make this in your home. For the whole. And there's some NPCs. Here's the uh, old goblin model. Yo. This is what the goblins used to be in classic. And that's some orcs. This is a vendor. <laughs> you can buy some drinks from that. And and you can find Gammon. He's level 12. And then back then you can actually fight. Gammon at level 12 and he dies So he just punch you, but there's nothing so you can just fight him if you want for, for Gammon So he's he's in classic And let's see here and this building is the Let's see. This is Solon's Lolo and Steel Armory. So this is the armory So you can, uh, can buy some male armor you can buy Leather armor, you can buy Spirit. light armor from these vendors. So, if you want to buy what some you armor, you can. Strength and honor. Alright, up here, there's nothing up here, right, really. So, there's nothing important. So yeah, there's really nothing up here. If you wanna like look at something for the view, you can. But there's nothing up here though. Alright, so now we're going to go down. All the way down. Alright, so there we go. Alright, moving forward, we're going to go inside the bank. So this is the... Bank of Orgamar, when you straight go forward, this is how the bank used to be. And there's your mailbox by the bank. And then we have an NPC for the false no wolves. So, what this is need? what the bank used to be. This is how it is. It costs 10 silver. And there's three orcs you can uh, and honor. go from the bank. 
And uh, there's no Gilbanks back then when the game came out. That came out when the Bone and expansion came out. And then Guildwatch came out. So y you had to uh, hold on to your s guild stuff if you had a guild in Classic. And you had to hold it either on your bank or in your bags because Guild Vaults did not exist back then when the game first came out. And we have some two NPCs over here. This is Overlord One Thack. Lotar. So there's him. And there's um Sawfang. The old model of Sawfang. Blood and thunder. So there, here's Sawfang who who used used to be in classic. He's diff he has an old model. Alright, uh let's go this way now. This is the shattered axe. So this is you can uh, buy weapons from. Lotar. So this is the guy you can buy. If we need some weapons. Alright, and now we're gonna go this way. Uh, the chop house. And this building right here is nothing. So there's nothing in here. It's like a decoration. Alright, so we're going to the chop house. And then in here. This is where you can buy some meat from the vendor. What are you looking for? And uh, if you wanting out of food, come to the meat vendor and you can buy stuff from the vendor. Alright. So now let's go up here. And we're going to go this way. And then here's another campfire. Well, actually, it's a bonfire. And then another bonfire. And then we're gonna go this way. This is the Valley of Spirits. Uh, we're not going this way yet. Oh, here's your Regent vendor if you wanna buy what some are you looking Regents. Alright, and then up there is. T <sighs> that takes you, uh. Actually, this takes you nowhere, actually. There's nothing up here. It's just nothing. Alright, now we're here, we're gonna go to this building. And then inside here is... Actually, there's nothing, but this takes you up there to go upstairs. That's how you get up there to the bridge. So I'm not going up there yet. Alright, so we're gonna go forward now. <coughs> Alright. So we're gonna go this way now. And there's some more stuff up here. So let's go this way. Alright, so... Over upstairs. We're gonna go up there. So if you go upstairs, there's a Bones fire pit. And inside this building is... Some more food vendors. So this is your cooking trainer. If you have a uh, cooking profession, you could come to this vendor right here, and you can have your cooking. Over here is the meat vendor. Over here is the, no meat vendor. Here is the cooking supplies. So this is your cooking profession. You got your supplies, your meat vendor, and the cooking trainer for your profession. Alright, now uh, this building right here is a decoration, so there's nothing up there. And we're gonna go to this building right here, and this one is the uh. Let's see this. this is nothing. What do you need? So, yeah, there's nothing up here. Who you be? See ya later. So, this is like uh, some kind of building with NPCs in it. Up here is nothing, but there's like a uh, some maps and a some kind of a other thing up there. All right, so yeah, there's nothing up here, so nothing down here. All right, now we're gonna continue going up here to Jerry's Arboretum, and inside this building is 
Your herbalist. So this is you can buy some herbs for your professions. How you this is the supplies for your herbs, and over here is your Relax. trainer for the herbalist. So if you have a profession for herbs, you come to this vendor, and then you can train it from her, and the supplies will be from her. That's where you go for your herb trainer. And let's see, in this building, uh. There's, I don't think there's something. Oh, actually, yeah, there is something up here. Let's see. And here is ah the enchanting. So, if you have a enchanting profession, you uh, come here. Lord. You can buy your supplies from enchanting, and then from this vendor Excellent. is the expert, and then over here Speak, is friend. the journeyman enchanting. So this orc. Trainer is you can buy your enchants and then from her what you can you buy need? your enchanting supplies from this vendor. So this is the enchanting profession. Alright, moving on, we're going to go this way now. Alright, so this building is the Yamak Alchemy and Potions. So this is what your alchemy you supplies. With? And this one is your journeyman alchemist. So you can click on train me and he can train you with some alchemy for your profession. And, and this one's nothing. This is the expert. So yeah, this is your alchemy uh, building if you have an alchemy profession. And up here is... Uh, another NPC, some kind of troll. Let's just look at the view. So yeah, there's nothing up here really. So it's like another place to look at at the view. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs now. All right, so I am now. Wait, if I can get down. And okay, so now we're down here now. Alright, so we're gonna go through Drawfors and Sun Savage. So this is your actually there's nothing over here, it's just two NPCs. I think it's for like a quest if you high if you're um a, a higher level. And this is where you have to go. So there's nothing in this building for a low level. Uh, over here, we're gonna go f this way, and this one is the Cobra Hide Leather Workers. So this building right here is your leather working. This is your cloth and leather armor merchant. What are you looking for? So we can buy some cloth and armor from this vendor. And then over here is your, le this is your leather working supplies from this vendor. And this is your skinning trainer. If you want to do some skinning, and this one is your journey leather working. This is where you can train leather working at. And this one's the expert leather working. So this building is for skinning and leather working. All right, moving on, we're going to into Magha cloth goods. So this building is your cloth building. I mean, this is for tailoring, sorry, but this is your cloth and armor from this vendor right here. Over here is the tailoring supplies. So, this is another profession for tailoring. This one is your hard cloth quartermaster. Uh, and this one is your expert tra tailor. And over here, this is the journeyman tailor. So, this is your vendor if you want to train tailoring. So this is tailoring right here. Alright, so let's get out of here. And this building right here is nothing, it's a decoration. Uh, Gotri Traveling Gear. This is your bag vendor. So this is where you can buy some bags. You can buy a 6 slot, a 8 slot, a 10 slot, and a 12 slot bag. Alright. And let's see. Uh, so there's nothing up here. So we gotta go back. And we need to go 
forward. This building right here is nothing, it's for decoration. Same thing with this building, decoration. Uh, okay, so let's head inside this way and we're gonna go to Valley of Honor. So I showed you everything in the drag, the Valley of Strength. Now we're going to the Valley of Honor. Alright, so we're now in Valley of Honor. So if you go this way to this building right here is the Keyword's Harness. Oh yeah, by the way, this is what the back of Orgamon used to be, so this is how it was. Okay. So, in this building, you can buy War Harness. Greetings. So you can buy your chest leather, if you have a leather. Well, friend. Okay, uh, let's go to get out of here. And we're gonna go this way. Alright, so this is your, this is the Ogma Bow. So if you're a hunter, you can come to here, and this is where you can buy your bows. Mm, so you can buy a small quiver, and you need to purchase a lot of wolf arrows to reload your weapon for your bow. So this is where you go to buy your arrows at. Be seeing, yeah. And, uh, up here... I don't think there's nothing up here. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, nothing up here really. It's basically another to look at if you want to see the view. Alright, so I'm going to go down. And I am now down. Okay, let's get out of here now. All right. Uh, next, we're going to go into another building. This building right here is nothing. Just another decoration. All right. So up here, if you go up here, this is the hall of the brave. This is where you can buy your PVP uh, gear from. And there's nothing over here except, except for two flags, whole flags, which I mean. All right, so the hard brave. Once you hit, once you hit 60, you can start buying some PVP gear from this vendor. I am foreseen. Actually, no, this is a PVP background, so there's no PVP gear in here in this place. It's basically the um, background building. So this is the Oethi Bajan Badmaster. This is your warrior you trainer. This is Speak the... Friend. I have no idea what this is for. I think it's for something to... queue for something or to join. Another warrior trainer. And this is your Elect Valley Badmaster. You have to be at least... But 10 maybe or 60 to enter. I don't remember what level we have to enter it. And finally, Warsong Gotch Badmaster. Oh, oh. So there's like, what, three backgrounds you can enter? Elk Valley, Warsong Gotch, and Hawaii Bajan. So yeah, three backgrounds you can enter. And yeah, another word trainer here too. So th there's like three word trainers in this building right here. Alright, moving on. We're gonna get out of here now, and then we're gonna go the other way. So, this way is the Red Cannon Mining. So, this is your mining profession. So, if you wanna mine some ore, you go to this Look vendor on. right here, the mining trainer. And that's how you pick up mining, and this is your mining supplies. What can I help you with? And there's your mining pick, cost 81 copper. Alright, and then over here, if you are... If you have like lots and lots of ore, you come to the forge and you smelt them. 
for bars, and that's how you get the your um, some bars from the smelting. Over here is the what is the sign called? Okay, there's no sign then. So this is like basically some kind of daycare. So this is where all the young horde orphans go to for daycare. So this is how it used to be. And there's the NPC. Greetings. It's taking care of the orphans. Alright, now over here in this building. So if you have a fishing profession, this is where you have to go. From Lumax Fishing. Uh, so there's nothing in this building at the moment. This is like a uh, decoration. Uh, over here, this is your fishing train, right? So if you want to do some fishing, come to this place and then talk to Lamak and he can train you fishing. And then this is your fishing su supplies from this man here. Alright. Uh, this is the waterfall. This is how it used to be. The old waterfall. This is the water. Alright, so now we're going to go the other way now. Alright, we're gonna go up here now. And we're gonna go this way. Now in here is the... No, I have no idea what, what this is. Let's see. Uh, so, this is the Wing of Valor. I'm guessing it has to do... Like, arenas? To, to enter? So, yeah, this is the arena. If you wanna do some arenas. And this is what the place looks like. So there's nothing in here actually, it's completely empty. But yeah, this is if you want to enter the arena, this is where to go. Alright, now we're going to get out of here now. And we're going to go the other way. Alright, so now we're going to go this way. Alright, so we're going into the Hunter's Hall. So, hunters, this is for you. This is for you. Now, if you go this way, this is your hunter trainer. Okay, so this is the stable master. You this is where you can stable your pets. You can have three slots for it. And here, if you're an orc, this is you can buy your mount for orcs. But if you're not an orc, you need to be exalted with Ogamar. And you need to uh, come to Ogamar and buy them wolf mount. So this is the gray, the swift gray wolf, the swift brown wolf, the timber riding wolf, the dire riding wolf, the brown riding wolf, the swift timber wolf, and that's it. What do you need? And this is your riding instructions if you uh -huh. want to learn how to ride a steed, and it costs 20 gold, and you have to be at least level 40 to uh, get that <laughs> alright so now up here this is for hunters uh, before I go over enter this is how this used to be so this is like completely empty there's nothing over here so there's nothing over here but there's that waterfall it's back up there so yeah this place is empty Okay, so there's nothing over here. There's another bonfire. Alright, so we're gonna go up here now. So, this NPC, there's nothing over there. So, there's. And this place over here is your hunter trainer. How you do it? So, this is for hunters. If you wanna learn how to play your class, you come to the hunter trainer over here. And then we got another hunter trainer over here, too. And another hunter trainer. So there's like three hunter trainers in here. Strike. 
Alright, now we're gonna go down and go the other way. Alright. So let's go the other way now and go over here. Alright. Now we're gonna go inside over here. And this one's your not this is the Nog machine shop. So basically this is for engineering. So if you wanna know how to learn engineering, come to this building right here and talk to What's up? Oh uh, I deal for you! Actually, no, this is your engineering supplies. So, this is where you have to go if you want to learn some, get some supplies from Soviet the Goblin. Hey, and this how is you your doing? expert engineering, and this one Yo, is Waxic, the uh, art, artin engineering. And this Goblin is nothing. Hey, yeah. mm. And over here, Thund. This is where you can go to train engineering. So this is where you need to go if you want not engineering. Alright, uh moving on. There's another bonfire. Alright, so this is your blacksmith. So there's like the expert blacksmith thing. There's a weapon smith, there's armor smith, and there's this guy, this, uh, this is the armor crafting journey. So this is where you can go if you want to learn blacksmithing. And uh, inside here is the burning anvil. So there's like outside and there's inside if you want to make a weapon. Blood and this is archers and blacksmithing. This is the heavy armor. And this one's your blacksmithing supplies. And now inside this, the arms of legend. This is you can buy your this is the weapon man. vendor. And this what is the want? weapon master. You be careful, man. And this Lotar. is the no weapon master. For the horde. And no. Strength and honor. Uh, this is the weapon vendor for. What are you here. looking for? This is a two-handed weapon merchant. And this is the weapon crafter. Alright, now we're gonna go upstairs. And there's an NPC. The Mason Staff Vendor. What can I help you with? So up here there's nothing up here you can see. So yeah, basically another sp spot to view if you wanna look at the view. Alright, moving on, we're gonna go downstairs now. Alright, now uh, up here, there's a campfire. Okay, so I already showed you everything up here. This is a decoration building. So yeah, there's there's everything in Valley of Honor so far. So let's get out of here and go to the next place. Alright, uh, let's go forward now and get out of here.
Alright, let's go into the Cleft of Shadows. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, this is... And there's another mailbox, too. Let's see if you want to mail something. Alright. Now we're gonna go into the Cleft of Shadow, which is down here. And this is your general trade goods. Oh. If you want to buy stuff from the trade goods. Alright. So, this place right here is the Cleft of Shadows. So if you're a warlock, you can come down here. Alright, so yeah, like I said, here's the warlock trainer, which is down here. This is your train over what here for mean? warlocks. Dark file enclave is the sign. And so, another so. warlock trainer. Blood another thunder. warlock trainer and that's it. Victor. And a demon trainer. Arrowhead. And Shadow Deep uh regents. So there's another regent vendor from this orc right here. Blood and thunder. And over here we have the Ironwood Staffs and Wands, so this is where you can buy your wands at. Speak, friend. Alright, uh Pio is some kind of troll who just stands there. So there's nothing inside this place. Nothing important. Alright, now we're going to go this way. Is there a map to this place? No, there isn't. But this is what the map looks like in Class of Shadow. Alright, and then this is your mushroom vendor. Some, some. If you want to buy some mushrooms to eat. Strength. And this building right here is... Uh, and a quest, if you have uh, like a high level, you can enter, you can just go here and then the quest through the pier for this dungeon. And here's the dungeon, Rage Fire Chasm. And if you click on the uh, meeting stone, it tells you level 13 to 18. So you have to be at least 13 to enter it. And you can level up from dungeons if you want. Alright, uh, moving on, let's see, what's up here, uh, oh, I skipped something up here. Alright, so up here is the Wog Trainer, so Warlocks and Wogs, you can come here. This is the Slow Blades, if you want to buy some blades from, here, from this guy. And, uh, this is a rogue trainer right here. Shadow Shift uh, Brotherhood. So yeah, rogues and rogues can come down here and train. Uh, rogue trainer. Blood and, and some kind of troll named Zen, Zen. I don't know how you say it. And this is Raku's Poisons. Oh, and here's another rogue trainer by the way. And this vendor is your po potion vendor, so if you want to buy some potions, you can. So the sign says, Weku's Potions. Sorry, not, po not poisons, potions. Alright, so I think I covered everything in the class of shadow. We're going to uh, go upstairs now. Let's see, did I miss anything down here? I don't think I did. Okay, we might be good then. Alright, going upstairs now. Alright, so, this building right here is the fruit vendor. So, if you want to buy some fruits, come to this vendor right here. 
And we're going to go this way. And uh, we're going to go enter the Valley of Wisdom. There's a bonfire. This one is the Ogama Commissions. And then a bonfire over here too. Now over here there's completely nothing. So there's nothing up here. Not even behind the place. So there's nothing over here. And if you look up, there's another bonfire up there too. Okay, so in this building is Ashwin's Market. So this is your another uh, uh, general goods. What do you need? So if you want to buy something, you can from this guy. Oh, there's another region. Regent Vendor if you want to buy some Regents. Farewell. And up here, I don't think there's nothing up here. Yep, nothing up here important. So there's nothing up here. So we're going to go back down. And then this troll is another commission. If you, uh, what you want. So it's basically if you PvP or something, this is where you go to turn them in. Alright, so let's go forward now. So this is Thrall's War Chief room. You can see two horror banners next to it. And before I enter, this is the statue. Is there... I don't think that says anything. Does this say anything? I don't really see anything about it, it seems. Oh wait, no, here we go. Here we go. If you click on this plaque right here, it tells you. These demon plates were worn by the creature that first cursed our people with bloodlust. By the heroic act of one brave orc, he was defeated, Mammoth. The destruction is no more. Let these plates always remind us of how far we come and how hard we were or fought to regain our honor. Thrall, fortress of the Horde. So that's what Thor said. And this one is the statue of Mammoth. So you can see the statue. Okay, so now we're gonna go inside and see Thrall and Vorjin because they're inside here. And this one's the there's some Korkron Elite Guards. So we got a sh the Elder Fossil. And there's a natural. You know, this one's your sharing trainer. Hello, ma. So if you're sharing, you come to this vendor. And there's like two more. Sh there's two more sharing trains right here. Greetings. One for the Tarwin and one for the Orc. What? So three sharing trainers in here. All right. Now we're gonna go up. Go here. So here is the War Chief room. There's like a lot of guards guarding it for the Korkron Elite. And here we, here is Vargin. Come to consult the spirits. Spirits be with you straight. This is the old model for Vargin. Vargin help you. Okay, and here is Nazgrel, the advisor of the Thrall. And up here, there's nothing about guards. And here's Etrig. This is the old model of Etrig. And here is here is Thrall, the war chief. So this is the old model of Thrall, how he used to be. Welcome to Orgrimmar. Have you come to serve the horde? Lothar, friend. What is it you wish? So this is what this is how Thor become this is what Thor and his war chief and this is his old model. He was war chief until Mr. Pindale came out and then Gaos took over. So back in when the game first came out, Thor was the war chief. And Vargin was just guarding this spirits? place. So Vargin and Thor were in the same uh, room. 
Look. And that's pretty much it inside here. Okay. Now we're going to go the other way. Okay, now we're going to go this way. And we'll go forward. Alright, so I'm going to show you another building. This one's the string of horn and pointed fruits. So basically, this is your. Uh, actually, no, I will show you guys the fruit vendor. I'm sorry. So, yeah, another fruit vendor. A bonfire. And now I'm gonna go up here now. There's that bridge again if you want to look at something. Now, this is the Hall of Legends, so I cannot enter this. Let me see if I can actually. Uh, yep, you need to be a stone guard or higher. So basically, this place right here is your PvP uh, building. So if you hit level 60 and you're like a big fan of PvP, this building right here is can take you to buy some PvP gear from it. And it's called the Hall of Legends. Alright, so over here, we got some uh, troll huts. So let's go over here. This one's the Dark Burial Lodge. So this is where the trolls live in. So this one's the Mage Trainer. Actually, they're all Mage Trainers, so yeah. If you're a mage, come down here, and this is where you can learn your mage. And over here is the Cloth Core Master. So there's a cloth clear master. And then up here. Uh this one is a portal trainer. So if you're a mage and want to look for a portal trainer, come to this troll right here. How you doing, man? And then you can learn how to open a portal for for your class for mages. Alright, moving on. We're gonna go exit the building and go somewhere else. Alright, now over here, we're gonna go this way. So, if you're a priest, you talk to the priest trainer right here. Hello. And up here... Is... Another priest trainer. Hello. And a high you priest. Come. So yeah, there's like three priest trainers if you wanna learn how to play a priest. Alright, now over here on this hut, there's what, nothing? Nope, there's some orc. So if you, if you want to learn how to first aid, click on this vendor, the P this orc, and he can teach you how to do some first aid. Alright, and let's see. Um, Alright, so this way. There's another bonfire, another bonfire there, and uh, sky first staffs. So if you're a caster, this is where you have to go to buy your staff set. There's only two. And then there's another bonfire, and then this building is nothing, it's a decoration. And then there's another bonfire. And what else? Oh, here's a uh, snake vendor. So it costs 50 silver for a black knight snake, a f uh, 50 silver for a brown snake, or a 50. Or it costs 50 silver for a crimson snake. So it's three snakes you can buy from silver. Alright, now this building is a decoration, nothing in there. 
Uh, this building right here is... Okay, so there's nothing in here, so completely empty. Alright, now we're gonna go behind Orgrimmar. And this would take you to either the Barons, I think, or Dorotar. So there's like a bridge coming out. And there we go. So yeah, this takes you to the Barons. But we're not done yet inside Orgrimmar. We gotta go back inside. And we're going to... Let's see, is there anything I missed? I don't know if I missed anything. So, let's see. I don't think I missed anything, right? This is the behind Orgrimmar for the gates. So, yeah, I think I showed you guys everything. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think I missed anything at all. I think I showed you everything in here in Classic. There's a bonfire. So, yeah. That's everything I have to show you guys in Classic Ogamar. So now I'm going to be stretching it to retail for how Ogamar is right now. Starting right about now. I'm going to be stretching to retail. Alright, so now guys, I switched, switched it to Retail WoW, and I'm going to show you guys how Ogoma is right now in Retail WoW. So things has been a little different when the Cataclysm came out, so I'm going to show you how Ogoma is right now. I'm getting my flying mount, and there we go. So yeah, when the Cataclysm came out, people finally get to fly all around Azeroth and it was good to fly for once alright so here's what the entrance look like this is the new improved Ogamar. so the banners are still there on each side and you can now get access to the rooftop so this is what the rooftop looks like Well, actually, yeah, this is what the rooftop looks like. But if you do the battle for Lordaeron and battle for Azeroth, the expansion, there was like lots of things up here if you want to see them. But yeah, this is the uh, new improved Lordaeron. You can see the two flags on each side. And we're going to go inside here. So. Right here, you can't really. There's like some kind of light up there. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so there's like nothing up there though. Alright, so we're gonna go downstairs now. Wait, let me get my mouth again. Alright, so before I show you this, I gotta show you how to get to the entrance. So this is the entrance for Orgrimmar. When you first come in, there's two hold flags. And once you go in, you go this way, and then over here, this is the portal room. So this is a new feature in Battle for Azeroth in the expansion. And over here, another portal room up downstairs. So if we keep going down, and this this is the portal of Karen's time. And that's the only portal in the portal room. So there's nothing in here. Okay, now we're going to go back up again and show you the other portals. Okay, so over here. This is the portal to go to Silver Moon City. 
This portal takes you to Shetra for Outland. This portal takes you to Warspill and Ashrin, which is one of the Drain Expansion. And this portal takes you to Azuna, which is Legion. That was last expansion. And this portal takes you to the uh what's it uh does it have a name? Oh I can't really enter it because I'm not one twenty or one ten to enter it. So this takes you to Desilar, which is Battle for Azeroth expansion, the new city. And this one takes you to the Jade Force, which is the Mesa Pandera expansion. And this portal takes you to Dalaran. Crystal Song Forest, which is without the Lich King portal. And that's it for the portals. So, yeah, this is the new feature that's been added for the portal room. And now, I'm gonna show you the rest of Ogamar. So, I'm gonna get my mount once I get outside. And now I can mount. Alright, so yeah, we got a whole banner up there and there's like two of them and there's another horde banner up there another horde banner right there and there's two horde banners right here there's like lots of uh, fires there's a bonfire right there and two fires on each side and some scenery from decoration Alright, so this building right here is the Orgamar General Store. This is the trade supplies and the general's goods. So help? you can buy some stuff from here. Farewell. Alright, and we're going to go uh, this way. This one is the Broken Tusk. So if we go here, this is the new inner keeper. Glory. So you can set your hearthstone from the inn, and you can buy stuff from here. Be safe. And now, in here, there's some stuff you can look at and buy stuff. So this vendor, you can Water buy thunder. drinks. Power. And let's see, there's lots of NPCs over here. And then upstairs, uh, there's Garen, so you can finally see Garen. He's a hero now for, of Orgamar. He's level 90, and you can never, never kill him now, so he's level 90 elite. So you can't fight Garen anymore because he's a hero now. And these two are NPCs, there's nothing up there. So yeah, this is the inner keeper. So you can set a hearthstone and buy stuff from here. And we're gonna go this way for the bank of Orgamar. So this is your bank and the guild vault. So this is a guild ba guild bank or guild vault. If you wanna, if you have like a bank guild, you can store your stuff in there. Or if you have an actual guild. You can come here and you can put some stuff in here for the guild vault. And here's your bank. Yeah, yeah. So you got a regent bank and a normal bank. Keep it real. And here's another bank. Hey. And another bank. So there's like four banks in here, one in each side. What's shaking? I seen you around here. And there's two guild banks inside here too. All right, so let's get out of here now. And we're going to go into the auction house. So this is the new improved auction house, which is right here. There's a mailbox by it this time. So you, there's like three auction, actually no, four auctioneers. Have I got one a one deal right for there. you? This is your bids. This is your auctions. This is the browse stuff. No shipments coming in soon. So yeah, there's like four auction hills. And then up here, there's really nothing up there except for lights. So nothing up there. And there's some, some decorations. Lots of stuff in here. Alright, moving on. We're gonna go... Uh, 
Let's go in the middle. So this is the War Chief Command Board. This is to if you want to start questing. Once you hit the city, you can pick a a quest to quest at. So you can use the missions if you want to level. And there's a mailbox by the War Chief's room. So let's go inside Grammar's Hold. And so this is the, the new improved War Chief room. So there's lots of stuff over here. There's a uh, baton. And there she is, the War Chief herself, Savannah Windrunner. Greetings, champion. And there is High Overload Surfing. We will claim what is ours. you die in battle. And this is your archaeology training. Anaria Shola. We will have justice. There's a Silmoon Guardian. As a priest trainer. Glory to the Sindorai. Uh, the Dark Times will the pass. Blood Elf NPC. And this one's your Paladin trainer for the Blood Elf. Time is of the essence. So if you're a Blood Elf, you can go over here. Well, actually, any Paladins can enter it, so... Well, actually, pa uh, class trainers don't, don't exist anymore because... All of your spells are now learned into your spell book now. So you can no longer go to your trainer. Um, if you want, you can go to your trainer and you can go into the... The training grounds or something to learn how your class works. Alright, and I think that's everything I have to show you in the War Chief room. There's some flags up there too. Alright, let's go let's get out of here now. Alright, so let's go and uh let's go this way. So we here there's a uh string horn important fruit and spirits. So this is your fruit vendor. And this one is Brew of the Month Club. So, Brewfest comes out Friday, and you can purchase something to be a member for Brew of the Month. Yeah, what do you want? So, I can't really buy nothing because I'm not a member well, yet for Brew of the Month. And Tenubala. we got a Nightborn, we and a Nightborn. Of Soramar. And this is your meat vendor. Greetings. And over here we have the Regent vendor. It's just rinsing powder. For the horde. And let's see, there's anything over here? Nope, nothing over here. Okay, moving on. So this building right here. This is. Um. Nothing actually, so you can just like sleep and hang out in here. So there's nothing in here. Alright, so let's go and go this way. Let me get my mount. There's a mailbox right there. And uh, this is take you to the. the. what's it called again? The Vow of Spirits? No, no Cluff of Shadow there, that's right. Alright, so Cluff of Shadow. And this is what the map looks like for Cluff of Shadow. And this is the new improved map for Orgrimmar. So it's been changed a lot. Alright. So. Uh, this place right here, you can visit your rogue trainers right here, there's three of them. And uh, over here, this one is a potion supplies. Strength. And what else? Okay, over here we have the blade merchant. What so you can need? buy some blades. Go with honor. 
Alright, moving on. We're gonna go downstairs now. Now, we here is a portal trainer for mages. If you wanna learn how to portal. There's a, uh, Nightborn. Here's your mage trainer. Glory to the There's like, what, three of them? Yeah, three mage trainers in here. Strength. Alright, and then, uh, Let's go to this building. Actually, this one here. So this one is the staff and wands. So you can what buy some wands from here, Rotar. some staffs from here. And the sign says, "Iron wood staffs and wands." And then this one's a shadow deep regents. So then a regent vendor. What can I help you with? Okay, and then this is the warlock trainer. Strength and honor. This is your demon, uh, demon trainer. Dabu. And here's the warlock trainer. Lotar. So it's the proven grounds I was trying to think of when you enter your class trainer. So you can just go to the proven grounds and you can figure out how you play your class on the proven grounds if you want to test your DPS. Or tank or heals. Strength. So there's like what? Th nope. Th uh, wait. Three? Uh, no. Two warlock trainers. One over there and one over here. So yeah, there's two Strength. warlock trainers. There's like uh, some uh, book. I don't know what this is about. Alright. Uh, let's see. Down here, this is the. Dark Earth. So if you come over here, this is the mushroom vendor. Sub, sub. So if you can buy some buy some mushrooms, you can. And then this building right here is nothing except for the orc right there. Makra. I think he has a quest for you at low level though. And this is the Wage Fire Chasm. So, all the classic dungeons has been revamped now. Well, not all of them, except they only like a couple of them. Like, uh, Witch Fire is different now. So, I'll, I'll make a, a feature video if you guys want to see how the dungeons used to be in classic and how it is retail. Alright. So, yeah, this is Witch Fire if you want to enter it. Alright, moving on, we're going to uh, go up here now, and see, did I show you everything up here? Uh, yeah, so I showed you everything over here, everything up here, uh, everything up there, so yeah, let's get out of here now. Uh, there's nothing up here though, so nothing important. So, let's see, let's see, am I missing anything? Uh, no, don't think so. Alright, let's move on. Alright, now we're gonna go and head this way. So let me start all the way over here. So, okay, when you come over here, you can walk the stairs, and this is your cooking trainer. So there's your chef. There's your uh, chef. You can buy stuff from here. This is your dailies. So you can learn cooking. There's a mailbox by it, and this one's your meat vendor. You can buy some food, a cooking trainer, and cooking supplies. Alright, now we're gonna stay up here because there's more stuff. So this one's the Bowstone's fire pit. And there's a mailbox over there too. This place right here is nothing, it's a decoration. This is the mighty pen, which is inscription. So, uh, you can talk to this uh, NPC named Niwag and he can uh, you can learn inscription if you want. Here's your ink trader. 
if you need some ink. Oh, you drive a hard bargain. And this vendor right here who's coming down is the inscription supplies. Greetings. So if you need some supplies, go to her. Farewell. And then up here we got two orcs who are just talking about something. So yeah, nothing up there. Alright, moving on. We're gonna go up here now. And then in here, this is the same spot how it is in classic, the herbs. So you can buy some herbs if you want. For the horde. And over here, this is the vet, this is the trainer. If you want to learn how to herbalist, which I can do that right now. There we go. And let's go this way now. Now oh, down here is the enchanting. So this is the enchanting building. Glory Here's your enchanting Lord. supplies. Go the eternal sun. And this is your appearance enchanting. Asteros Danil. And this orc right here is your enchanting trainer. If you want to learn how to be enchanting. Alright, and then this building right here is like completely unfinished when the new improved Ogoma was being built and still st stuck there when the Cataclysm came out and it's still been there since ever since. So I have no idea what this is supposed to be so I don't know yet. And this sign is good uh, Garden's Boonworks, which is enchanting. Okay, so over here is the Yamax Alchemy and Potions, same name. There's a mailbox there. So if you want to learn how to be an alchemist, you just gotta click on what this dude. And it seems like some quests I have to do too. Be safe. Alright, and then there's your the alchemy supplies, you which I can buy right now. And Speak, friend. So I can't go train anything else. Alright, there we go. Alright, and let's go this way. Uh, this building is a general goods and regents so this is a region vendor right. and a general goods vendor if you want to buy stuff this one is Jawful and sun savage which is nothing in here same thing in classics there's nothing in it so nothing important all right and then over here we have a fishing rack or like a, some kind of dock if you want to do some fishing uh, over here we got a the engineering room. So if you want to learn how to be an engineer, well, click on Waxic, and he can learn your engineering. And here's Savic for your supplies. The pleasure was all mine. And this is your appearance engineering, and this guy is appearance. And that's it for engineering. Okay, now we're going to the orphan. So, same thing. This is the orphan building. The this NPC is the same, and there's like the orphans everywhere. So this is the orphans to chill and hang out. And then up there, there's nothing up there important. So yeah, that's the orphan building. Um, on in here, this is the Macaw cloth goods. So this is your tailoring. You this is for? your supplies for tailoring. For this is your tailoring fire. trainer if you want to learn tailoring. This is the vendor for cloth and armor. Uh, cloth and armor, and this person is your appearance train tailoring. Alright, moving on, we're going to go uh, this way. Alright, this building right here is 
a bag vendor so you can buy a 6 slot bag an 8 slot bag a 10 slot bag a 12 slot bag a 14 slot bag a mining bag for 20 slots a heavy toolbox for engineering that's a 20 slot bag and a 20 slot bag for enchanting and a gem bag for 20 slot bag so this is your bag vendor and there's nothing in here except for that guy which is the bag vendor and if you want to use some transmog you can go to here so this is your transmog right here and uh, if you want you can buy some transmog that costs tribe style but the only way to go here is when the event is up right now it's not so you have to wait it's up though this is the void storage if you want to put stuff in your storage and let's see anything else in here shall we uh, nope basically transmog and your void storage and that's it nothing in here important all right, now we're going to be moving on. All right, so we're going to go to this. So we're going inside the live honor. There's the war chief command board. This this is the war harness. That's now render for leather working for leathers. And this one's in the uh, uh, gear bank or bank if you want to store stuff. So this is the same thing. So there's two gear banks, four banks if you want to put stuff in it. And this sign is the worm's tail. So there's a mailbox over here. So th basically, this is another inner keeper if you want to put your host on to. And let's see anything up here this time. So yeah, nothing up here. And you can buy some drinks from this vendor if you want. And over here is the training on a target dummy. So if you want to learn your DPS, you can buy this target dummy right here. And this one's the world trainer, another world trainer. Actually, there's three world trainers in here. So there's three world trainers. And this is a Magkar. And there's nothing over here. What's in here? Anything? Okay, so there's nothing in here. Except for mag cars. Uh, okay, so up here. We're going to go upstairs. And. Let's see what's up here. Uh, more mag car. What's over here? Okay, so there's more target dummies. If you want to learn your class. There's like lots of target dummies in here if you wanna test your DPS too. There's a mecha limb fairy. Alright, so we're gonna go downstairs now. Uh actually no, we need to go upstairs. Let's see what's up here. Oh up here is uh, oh, the Badmaster. So this is what do you need? the Badmaster. If you want to queue some PvP, same thing. Can you can queue from PvP if you want. So there's just those two NPCs, and this one's the Azeroth map. So if you if you um, look close, you can actually see Azeroth. So this is what Azeroth used to be, and this is what the ma the map. And this one is. The hinterlands, right? Yeah, that's the hinterlands. All right, now we can go down. <gasps> okay, we're gonna go straight down now.
All right, moving on. All right, now we're gonna go enter this place right here. Okay, so there used to be a portal, last expansion that takes you to Honeydew Village for uh, Mr. Pandera expansion. That's there used to be a portal right here, but now it's gone into the portal room. And there's J.I. Firepaw. Bro, this is a quartermaster for the uh, pandas. And this is the monk trainer. If you want to know your monk and then come to this trainer. And then over here, this is the fishing supplies and vendor. So this is the fishing supplies right here. Cobra. And there's Trench your fishing honor. vendor, I mean trainer right there. And then here's the Master of Angler. I'm not sure if I can talk in. Some, some. Uh, nope. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Now, in this building, there's nothing in here except for NPCs and ones who are sleeping. So, nothing in there. And uh, this is Lumax Fishing, which is uh, that, by the way. I will show you the fishing. Alright, and now we got a mailbox over here. Now over here, this is a second room for your auctions. So this is another auction house. There's three, actually four auctions going on here. This stuff sells itself. Goblin products are So same place, same stuff in the retail in, in the auction house. Nothing has been changed. It's the same as the other one. Alright, now we're gonna go this way. And this building right here is your mining. So if you're a profession mining, you go here. Water. And then you can learn mining. Strength. And there's your jewel crafting supplies. What do you seek? So if you're a jewel craft, come to here. Farewell. And no there's your jewel crafting trainer. Do not loiter. There's your jewel crafting supplies. And there's my, there's and your honor. mining there's your mining supplies if you want to learn mining. And there's a mailbox right there. There's a forge, so you can't no you you uh, no longer need to smelt your ore anymore. So it's like all it's like all ore now, no bars. Now this is your blacksmith. Oh, wow. There's your. Uh, I have no idea who you, that guy's doing. With honor. Uh, this what is your no blacksmith trainer. Here's your appearance blacksmith, and here's your no blacksmith trainer. Space. Appearance, uh, blacksmithing supplies, and heavy oh, armor. Rah. And we're gonna go this way now. So talk to the true. This is the weapon vendor. What brings you here? This is the weapon. No, black and the blacksmith trainer. What are you? This is a two-handed weapon vendor. If you wanna buy some two-handed weapons. This is the blacksmith trainer. This is the mace staff vendor. You buy maces and staffs. And this one's your weapon vendor if you want to buy some weapons. And let's see, I think I got everything up here, so let's go upstairs now. Alright, now up here, inside here is the Brawl's Guild. So, Brawl's Guild came out in Pandaria when that expansion came out. So, this is the Brawl's Guild Arena, basically. You just need to, you can watch the brawl and you can get stuff out of it. So this is the quartermaster. So at rank, let's see, uh, no, I'm gonna be 120 to get an excess. So at rank 3 for the brawl's girl, we know you can buy a pet, 
At rank 3, you can buy another pet. And then at rank 4, you can buy a finger. That's just 110. Rank 5, you can buy a tab yard. Rank 8 is a fist weapon. And rank 8 is a appearance of the boss uh, girl arena. Now, uh, there should be a vendor to farm mount. Is that gone? Okay, so I think it is gone. I'm not seeing a vendor in here. Okay, so let's take a look in here. Uh, let's see, so... This one is a lot of stuff over here. So, okay, this used to be the uh, classic where the arena used to be. When uh, Mr. Pandera came out, they must have added the Bars Guild in here. So that's why it's been taken out in the game when the, it came out. Uh, so yeah, here's your Baladash Malinore. thing. There's your food and drinks up in the bar. My goods are crafted with great uh, care. Nothing in there. Baladash Malinore. You can purchase all this from the Bars Gold if you're doing the Bars Guild too much. And let's see. Uh, I think there's nothing in here. Just looking around. There's the goblins. It's too far away. And uh, the this one is to take you somewhere. Is money, friend. <laughs> which is I'm not doing it. So yeah, this is the Bars Guild arena. Alright, now I want to get out of here now. Alright, now we're gonna get go away, get out of here now. Alright, so let's go up here now. So this is the hunter trainer. So everything has been changed around when classic came out. So this one's a hunter's hall. And if you're a hunter, you can use the target damage to test your DPS sign with your pet. So there's like three hunter trainers. And there's pets around them. So there's like lots of training dummies if you want to test your DPS as a hunter. And if there's like a, a doorway coming over here. And if you're an orc, you can go on your riding train over here. And you can ride and some mounts from the wolf. 80 silver for the horn of timber. And 80 silver for the horn of dire. 80 silver for the broken, I mean the horn of the brown wolf. 80 silver for the horn of black wolf. 8 gold for the uh, swift gray wolf. 8 gold for the brown wolf. And 8 gold for the swift timber wolf. So this is the wolf vendor for the orcs that can ride on. And if you're a non orc, you have to be the exalted orc so you can get it. And your riding extractions are. I have no idea if they take that out of the game or if it's gone. It must have, because I'm not seeing it. So this is your steam master. You can click on I'm looking for a lost companion or I want to heal and we buy my battle pets. So this is basically. Add this to your pet, and you can take your pet, your pet for a walk. Go for victory. And I don't think there's nothing in here, so let's go this way. We see the stars once more. There's the nightborn who's just chilling. So yeah, nothing in here. There's a waterfall up here. So nothing up here, there's a mailbox. Alright, now up here in this building is I'm not seeing anything in here. Yep, this is empty, so there's nothing in here.
okay so up here there's lots of stuff up here this is how this is when the cataclysm came out everything has been added so there's more stuff now in, in, in this Ogamar. there's a forge there's a goblins now if you're like lowering and you reach like what I think it's uh, 80 oh I forgot what level no I think it's 90 I believe for the cataclysm now if you come over here and if you're trying to start the quest go to the Twilight Highlands this is where to go and then the quest will start in here so there's like Hell Scream Demolisher so there's like lag there's some catapults right here and then this building right here is uh, let's see, anything in here? Nope, there's nothing in here. So there's nothing special. And this is like some goblins trying to work on catapults going on. So they can start that up. And let's see, anything else? Mm. This is the behind the gates of Orgrimmar. So this is the wheel gate. And there's some NPCs over here. And let's see anything up here. Mm. Oh here we go, there's more stuff down here. So this one's the goblins, the harvesting wood. So there's more hard stuff over here. Actually no there isn't. This is uh, just a level, so yeah, nothing in here, except for a couple buildings. There's some NPC who's attacking the Greystone Bistek. Alliance and Horde attacking. So yeah, this is basically if you want to quest. So, nothing important in here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go back to Orgamo again. This is Azuna, so I'm not worried about this at the moment. Alright, so let's go back to Orgamo World Gate, and then back to the city. Alright, so now let's go the other way. Alright, now, did I, show, did I show you guys in this? Yeah, I did, okay. Uh, did I miss anything in here? I think I got everything over here. Yep, alright, so we're gonna be moving on, and we're gonna go the other direction. Oh yeah, by the way, before I move on, up here, is some more target dummies, so... Uh, if you wanna learn your DPS, go to a target dummy and just use one of these and then you can practice your DPS on it until you get a lot better and then you can use it for like raids and stuff. There's like flags everywhere for the whole banner. So just wanna show you guys up here. Okay, so now we're gonna go on top. Uh, did I show you guys up here? I think I did. Yep, I did. Okay, so yeah. I'll show you guys up there. Uh, let's go this way now. Alright, so this way is... So, okay, so when Classic came out, that this place right here used to be the War Chief room in Classic, but when a, the Cataclysm came out, the World Chief room is now completely gone and now it got removed and there's more stuff now in this room in this place in Ogamar. Uh let's see, let's go this way. And remember the statue of Memoth that's been gone too, so that's been taken out from the game. Alright, so over here this is the 
paladin trainer for Tarwins, a priest trainer for Tarwins, a warrior trainer, hunter trainer for ta uh, Tarwins, a shaman trainer, and a druid trainer. So this is how, where the druids live there now. So this is where the Tarwins and high mountain Tarwins lives in Orgrimmar too. Alright, and then up here, we got more Tarwins. Uh, and this building right here is the general goods and trade supplies. So this one is the trade Thank supplies. This is the general special. goods. And over here is the banker. So you, there's like another bank you can put stuff in. Be careful. And this one is a shaman trainer. Uh, another shaman trainer. So I think like all the NPCs on Classic Well are now outside now because there's, I recognize the shaman trainer, so that must have been moved down into like, the bonfire. And then another shaman trainer right there. And then inside this building, there's like a mailbox next to it. This is M Mirana. This is a longhouse. So this is your inner keeper. Well met. You can set your hearthstone and you can stay here for the inner keeper. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is tailoring trainer. The wind got if you're you. on tailoring. And that's it inside this tent. And this one is your skinning trainer and stable oh, master. Yeah, and this one is bow and rifle. Hell. So you can buy a gun or bow. Well met. And this one your blacksmith. So there's like a, another blacksmith trainer in here. And over here is the stalling quest when the, catac the cataclysm expansion came out. And then this quest line takes you to Mount Hyjo to start the quest line to go. And that's how you get to it. This is the for the like the events. So today is Pirates Day. So that's why they're standing right there. It's Pirates Day. Alright, now let's move on. Oh, actually like one more. So this tall one right here, there's an auction house. I mean, the de auction here. So you can check your auctions if you want. Maybe. Okay, now we can move on. Uh, let's go in over here. Now this is the elevator, and uh, right now it's coming down. So yeah, Ogamar now have an elevator now. Let's uh, go upstairs. Now, over here, there's a peon right there. And then upstairs, actually there's two peons downstairs. Okay, so upstairs is... More st so this one's the, this is NPC. This one's a string horn veil zip, so if you want to go to string horn, the zip in we we'll go here and nothing over there now under city there used to be a zeppelin that take you to under city but when bfa came out for the expansion the zeppelin i think it just died or something and now uh, oh no i know the zeppelin died in um the eastern kingdom so not the eastern kingdom but where uh, the honest the undead Stunning zone is the triple blades. It's been destroyed now, so now the only way to go to Honor City is through this portal right there. That's how you go to Honor City. And if you click on the sign, uh, actually, this sign doesn't say anything. But yeah, these two goblins used to be the Zeppelin master for triple blades. So you can't you can't ride the Zeppelin anymore. Alright, so let's go down now. So, over here, this is your flight master. Blood and thunder. So, if you wanna go somewhere, just use all this. 
Go forth to victory. And this one's the goblin quartermaster for the goblins. I got it. You, you can buy a tarot yard, a 16 slot bag, and a cloak. You have to be exalted though to get it. Goblin product. And the flying trainer. What do you need? So if we want to fly the Azeroth, you have to talk to this NPC right here, and she will have you fly in Azeroth, but it costs some gold though to get it. So let me show you what it is, so you can buy appearance writing, journeyman writing, expert writing, art, art, uh, artistic writing, and master writing. And over here is the wind rider keeper, so this is you can buy your wind riders. And you need to be actually there's no faction to uh I mean race to to uh buy them out. You, you can just buy it. So each of the normal mounts cost forty gold and epic is eighty gold. So there's a tarn wind rider, a blue wind rider, a green wind rider, and a swift green, swift red, swift purple, swift yellow, and that's it. For the horde. And let's see. Uh, so yeah, this is all the Wind Riders are. Over here is the Demon Hunters. When Legion came out, this is what the Demon Hunters get to have the new home in Ogamar. Lord Illidan knows the way. So there's a some supplies. Uh, what else? There's another vendor. I've sacrificed everything. You can buy what stuff from here given? that costs nether shards. So you can't buy nether shards anymore. That's when uh, Legion expansion first came out. And there's a uh, quartermaster. So this quartermaster right here is you can. Oh, you can't. So you have to. So yeah, you can't do this anymore. It's locked. It's closed for good. Uh, I think you can still do it though, but I'm not too sure though. Um, so, okay, now uh, over here, there's lots of more stuff over here. Uh, there's NPCs, uh, let's see, over here is some more orcs, there's a piano that's over there. Can I why yes I can Okay so this is the Thunderbluff Zepp Zeppelin Master. You have to wait for the Zeppelin to come across to go to Thunderbluff. And there's nothing over there. Now this is the Bone Tundra if you want to go to Northwind for sure. So you have to wait for the Born Tundra Zeppelin to take it there. And that's it from the Zeppelins. So let's see what else. Uh, over here there is nothing except for the elevator, which take you down. So we're going down. So yeah, this is the elevator now. Let me get my mount. Alright, so let's go this way. Now, uh, well, first of all, let's go this way first. Okay, so I already showed you guys this, but we need to go this way now. So, over here, this building right here is the barber shop. So, if you want to get a haircut or change anything, you can, you can change your face, hairstyle, hair color, your facial hair, skin color, and if you're an, if you're an orc, you can make your orc standing like a hunchback, or you can make it standing up if you want. So yeah, the barber shop is now in Orgamo now, and all, it's also in all cities. What's the this word is on the, the barber. Go get him, champ. And this is the barber shop chairs. Alright, so we're gonna go the other way now. Let's go... 
uh, this way. So, and here is the value of spirits. So, value of spirits is a lot different now when classic used to be. So, we got a fishing channel and supplies. Who you be? So, you can buy some fishing supplies on here. See in you can learn fishing. Uh, this is a drid, the drid trainer. Uh, over here, this is the priest trainer. You come get the voodoo. Um, over here, this is what the warlock. Yep, this is the warlock trainer. Uh, up here is the inscription supplies. And up here, this is another. This is inscription trainer. Uh, this one is the mage trainer and a portal trainer. Okay. Uh, we're here. We're going to go back. All right. Now over here is the when the cataclysm came out. This NPC right here took you to, um, to stop the quest line for Zogorub, how it used to be a raid, but now it's like become a dungeon now, and she took you, uh, how it happened or what happened or something over there. And then over here, this one's the cooking supplies, this one's the cooking trainer, how are you? and food and drinks. What you looking for? Alright, and uh, there's a mailbox over there. Now, over here, this one's the steel master. This one's the inner keeper to set your host on to. Be good. Uh, up here, this one's your trade supplies, your general goods. Hello, man. Alright, now up here is. Um, this one's another auction. If we buy stuff from the auction, Stay away from the voodoo. this is a bank. Are you doing so you can buy stuff from the bank. Actually, no, you can put stuff in your bank if you want. Later. Uh, some guards. This one is just walking around. Alright, now let's go uh, down here. Alright, this building is the decoration, so there's nothing over there. There's a uh, rogue trainer. What you want? If you're a rogue. Okay, let's go this way now. Alright, now this building right here is. Let's see what this is. This one is the. Okay, so there's nothing in here then. Just some NPC who just stands over there. And then we got some mushrooms growing, some herbs, flowers, last stuff over here. And let's see, uh, let's go this way. And this soon is um, behind Orgamar. So this one's the takes you to do it toy. So it's the same thing as classic. So it's nothing different from here. But now you can fly and you can check it out. And you can also go up here now. So it's pretty cool. You can look out how it, you can see stuff up here now. Pretty cool. So yeah, nothing important, nothing over here except for just a, if you look at stuff. It's pretty cool. You can fly around Azeroth and you can finally get up here now without glitches or how to get up here. All right, so yeah, this is behind the gates of Orgrimmar, and there's like two guards walking by, and what else? Anything? Um, 
Okay, so I showed you guys everything up here. Let's go forward. Did I show you? Yep, I showed you that. Alright, let's go forward. Now, over here is the goblins. When the cataclysm came out, this is the goblins' new home. So now they have a camp over here now. So there's some guards here. Uh, this one's, let's see what we have, this one, there's some guards, there's another auction, I got what you need. uh, there's boss media, or oh, media, what's up, catch you on the flip side, uh, we got some nightborns hanging out, a high mountain, and some other stuff, we got a bank, Yo. actually no, this is not a bank, this is just some supplies, you can buy food and drinks, See you around, friend. Uh, no vendor to buy. Yeah. What do you want? And that's it over here. We got a priest trainer for the Yo. goblin. Catch it. Uh, what else? What bad shit? pet trainer. If you wanna learn bad pets. Okay, so I just learned the black snake. Glad I could help. Uh, you can buy some bad stones if you want. And we have a vendor. And let's see, riding trainer. No loitering. So there's like two riding trainers in, in Orgamore too. And Security. if yeah, you're you a, a goblin, Hello. you need to uh, come over here. Go to the Ogoma Embassy. This if is where I'm at in the map. Anything. And you come to this goblin right here named Cal Wath You break and, it, you buy. And uh, you can get a uh, the trike mount from the goblin right here. From this, uh, and you have to be exhausted with the Blight Water Kato if you want to buy a trike. If you're not a goblin. And then uh, we here we have some more stuff. We got a cooking trainer. Slow down. We have let's see an inner inner keeper. Yeah. What do you want? Create such a hearthstone to. Come back. Uh, back over here. There's more stuff over here. Some more garland camps and some more buildings and stuff. This is a macroy. There's a blacksmith supplies. This world together. Uh, mining trainer. Uh, first aid. Our well, first aid is come. completely gone now, so you don't need that anymore. It's for bandage now, so first aid's gone. Walk in starlight. Uh, this one's your tailoring what is your pleasure? Uh, trainer. Uh, stay master. And over here we have engineering trainer. <laughs> Big shot, huh? Uh, engineering Stay supplies. And that's it over here. Alright, so now we're gonna go and go this way. Alright, so this is your. Ogamar Embassy. So this building right here, when Battle for Azeroth first came out, you can now get your allied races from this building right here, and I'll show you how to get them. So, if you want to get the um, high mountains, you talk to Bane Bloodhoof. I am Bane. And you click Ken. on what do we know about high mountain towers? So Stay high mountain towers. They can earn no, actually the achievement. You need to uh, own an achievement called Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And you have to be exalted with the high mountain. And the uh, ratio traits are Bull Crush, Rug Tennessee, Mountaineer, Waste Not, Want Not, Pride of Iron Horn. And this is, uh, this is the male and female high mountains of how, it is, how they are. 
We serve and as if we click on uh, Lady Lydon for the pleasantries can wait. Nightborn. Fight well. This is the Nightborn male and female. So you need achievement card and sucks instruction. You have to be exalted with the night fallen and uh, ways of traits. They are arcane pulse, cantrips, magnum infinity, arcane resistant, and ancient history. So the achievement card is uh, instruction. So let me uh, lock that up. So this is the achievement. You need to complete the Silmar storyline in Legion to unlock that achievement to unlock the waste the allied waste for the nightborn and then the high mountain we you fight need. when we must for uh, let me see what that you need you need let me find the what's the chair called brings you to me uh ain't no High enough. Okay, so eight. For the horde, always. Which is right here. Okay, so the achievement says you need to be. You have to complete the uh, storyline for the high mountains to unlock that achievement. And then if you go to Etrig for Kong. the Macaw orcs. Goodbye. Uh, this is the male. That's female. How it looks. So, ways of traits for macro orcs, they have astral car, open skies, sympath uh, sympathetic vigor, and savage blood. And you need to be exalted with the unabound. And you need to earn achievement ready for war. Stay so, strong. for that, you need. Let me find it. So you need to complete the war camping in Zandalar and Cortiris to unlock that achievement. And let's see it's what good else. To see you. Uh, he has nothing to say. Um, it's in goblins. Penny for my thoughts. No, you nothing for him. Open. Okay, so uh, no, nothing from him. Hmm. And this is the banner for each of the other races. Okay, so Zandrai Trolls. You need to be exalted with the Zandrai Empire. Own achievement for Zandar Forever and own achievement for Tides of Vengeance. So, Zandrai Forever, which is. Let me uh, find that real quick. If I can find the Zandre Forever achievement. I don't think I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so. You need to complete the following achievements on the content of Zandalar. So you need the Throne of Zandalar. Which is complete the Zandalar stolen listed below. And, uh... You need... The Dark Heart of Nazmir, you have to complete the Nazmir storyline to unlock that achievement. And you need to get the Secrets of the Sand achievement unlocked. So you have to complete the storyline in Vodun. And you need to complete the Bloodgate uh, quest line in Zodalar. And you need to complete. The Zandalar Forever Scenario on Zandalar. After you got all of those done, and then you can unlock the Zandalar Trolls. And uh, this is the male and female for the Zandalar Trolls. The Waste of Traits is Radiation, Embrace of the Lower, City of Gold, and Paradox Swoop. And let me uh, go through what they all do. So I'm going back to the high mountains. The so bull cross, charge forward, knocking down your enemies. Uh, work tendency reduces damage from incoming attacks. Mountaineer increased fertility. 
waste not, what not, and chances to gather additional meat and fish. Pride of Iron Horn increases mind skill and speed. We are and from together. her, I am the blade the Nightborn, uh, Arcane Pulse, Damage and Snail nearby enemies, uh, Cantrips, Summon a Flying Book that acts as a mailbox, Magno Affinity increases your magic damage, Arcane Resistant, Resistance to Arcane Damage, Ancient history increases your inscription skill. All DLs and then the Maghar Ancestors call and invokes the power of your ancestors, granting your grant you, granting you the power, open skies, faster mount speed while outdoors, symmetric vigor, the pet health is, is increased. Surge blood is reduces the donation on all poisonous diseases and curses effects on you. Goodbye. And then the Xandar Empire. Uh regeneration concentration to heal yourself rapidly over a short time. Embrace of the lower uh beseech a lower obtaining one of the six powerful uh bones uh, boons. Uh, seed of gold, discover more gold from creatures. Uh, paradox swoop, summon a paradox to reduce your falling speed. So, now we're going to, uh, actually that's it then, yeah. So yeah, this place is how you unlock your elevators and it tells you what achievements you need to get them and that's how you get your other races in here. Alright, so let's move on. Okay. Uh, let's go this way now. Okay, now over here is the PvP mount. So, to get this, you need to get a uh, vicious saddle. And it's off from achievement so you have to do like tons and tons of pvp to get the pvp mount so wings of the vicious skeleton warhorse let me see if i can find that mount. uh it's not in the mountain journal so i can't show you what it looks like then blood and thunder maybe uh let's see Skeleton Warhorse, let's try that. Dabuch. Here we go. This is. Oh, that's not it. Here we go. This is. No, that's not it. Actually, no, is this it? Yeah. This is Skeleton Warhorse. So, this is what the mount looks like for the PvP mount. So, this is what it looks like. And, uh, oh. Horn of the Vicious Wolf. The War Wolf. And that one looks like. Strength. Let me see if I can find that one. Uh. One of the what? What are you looking for? Of the vicious wolf. Maybe we'll just look up wolf. Um. Here we go. Vicious Warwolf. So this is what it looks like if you want to buy the Warwolf mount. Pretty awesome. All right, and then what can I help you with? We got the uh, Vicious War Raptor. So let me find the Raptor. Uh, here we go. So this is what the Raptor looks like for the mount for the PVP mount kind of cool to be to be honest actually all right and the next mount Strength is the vision war could do so let me look honor. up the war could do and there we go this is war could do so this is what the could looks like for the pvp mount looks pretty awesome 
And then no we got the vicious war strider. Go forth to victory. So we're gonna look for the war strider. Uh, here we go. Vicious war strider. So this is the PVP mount for the war strider. It has a horn banner on it. What do you need? And let's go to the war strike. Oh, war strike. I mean. Dabu. There it is. So this is the war trike. I like how the wheels has the war, I mean the horde banner on the wheels, pretty awesome. And it has like a rocket for a speed booth. And let's see, uh... What are you looking for? The vicious war turtle. For the horde! Alright, so war turtle looks like... Right here. So this is the vicious war turtle. It has the horde banner on each side, and it has like the weapons on it, so kind of cool. What can and I help you with? And the vicious war scorpion, which look Go like with honor. Right here, the vicious war scorpion. It's pretty cool. Cause I like this one, and it's pretty awesome though, for the scorpion. Blood and, and the war bear. Go forth to victory. So the war bear looks like this. This is what the mount looks like for the PvP. It has drums on each side, so it's kind of cool. And the horde banner as well. And oh, oh. finally, the war fox. Dabu. So that one looks like this. This is what the fox looked like. For the PvP mount. So yeah, like what I said, you, you gotta do tons of tons and tons and tons of PvP to get the war saddle, and you can choose any mount you uh, any mount you want. For the horde. And then over here, and this honor. is the old PvP mounts. So the black war kudo, kudo, and it costs 15 mark of honor. And uh, the black war kodu looks like uh, where is it? Where is it? Here you go. So this is a black war kodu. This is the old model of the mount. And um, horn of the black war wolf. So maybe we can look up. Uh, black war. Wolf. Here it is, the black war wolf. This is how it used to be. This is the old model of the mount. Sub -sub. And the red skeleton war horse. For the horde. Let me uh, find that. Here it is, the red skeleton horse. Nope, here we go. Red skeleton war horse. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and the whistle of the Black War Raptor. Go so let me find that. Uh, is it in the game? Okay, let's see if I. Blood and thunder. Black War Raptor. Let me try that. Um. Oh, here we go. Black War Raptor. So this is the old model for the Raptor mount. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. Sub -sub. And finally, the Swift War Strider. And that one looks like. Let me find it. Let me find it. Where is it? Here we go. The Swift War Strider. So this is what it looks like. For the old PvP mount. And that's all the mounts they had for the PvP mounts. Okay, so now we're going to go inside this building right here, the Hall of Legends. So this is your PvP um, armor. Oh, you can just lose for transmog. What can so, I help you with? You can buy the High Warlord War Staff, and it looks like that. This is what the staff looks like. And the dagger, that's what the dagger looks like. Uh, a book. 
Farewell. And then this vendor right doing, here. Man? This is the cl this is the 60 uh, class for the warlocks. I'm gonna show you what this look like. Now this is what a good chance look look looks like for the warlocks. I kind of like the set too. Like, look how awesome this transmog is. Look at it. It's so awesome. That's a good warlock site right there. Bye bye now. Alright, now over here. Oh, may I aid you? Uh, you can buy some potions. Uh, a tab yard. Uh, some kind of a PvP thing. I have no idea what it is. You can buy a horde battle stand yard. And a tab yard. Some kind of a mana to drink mana. Gems, more gems, and more gems. Farewell. And Farewell. you get some heirlooms. So you can trade some Mark of Honor for some heirlooms. And you can upgrade them. Go with honor. And Working over here man. we have some more stuff for some transmog if you want. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So yeah, this is what it looks like if you want to buy that. I have one of a kind uh, items. Over here we have this weapon. That's what the weapon looks like. And then here's some more stuff if you want to see. There's some boots. And then there's a dagger. That's a cool dagger. And there's a staff if you want to buy a staff. And another staff, and a wand, another wand, and a, a book. Alright. Be ready for anything. And over okay. here, we got some more transmog if you want to look at it. Here's a weapon. So, lots of cool transmog sets. And then here's a dagger, there's a wand, a staff, a held off fan, another staff, and another held off fan. Stay away from and the next vendor. Friend. This is what it looks like. There's a uh, appearance. There's this, there's that. Here's some more stuff you should look at. There's a dagger, a wand, another wand, and here's a staff, another staff, and there's a held off hand. And let's see, anything else? Uh, there's these three people who are just looking at the table. Actually, there's four. So yeah, nothing over here except for go except for some transmog. And let's see. Oh, one more vendor right here. Our enemies will you fall. You can buy uh, a companion for 400 gold, another companion for 400 gold, and uh, another companion for 400 gold. So you can buy that. To all who oppose us. Uh, am I missing anything else in this place? Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Did I miss anything in Ogamore? Anything at all? Looks like I covered everything, it seems. Actually, no, I did not. Except for over here. Here. We got some more stuff we need to cover. Alright, so over here. <laughs> We got a uh, guild, actually another weapon. What are you looking uh, mentioned for? if you want to buy some weapons. This is the shattered axe. Uh, over here we got the tab yard. If you want to buy some tab yards. And this dude right here is the guild venture. So you can buy some tab yards, you can buy this, buy some heirlooms, you can buy the 7th slot for the guild vault, 
Mode heirlooms, and you can buy a scorpion mount. You can uh, buy some more heirlooms and more heirlooms and some more stuff. And there should be unless oh no, the only thing okay, so they must have took out from the game it seems, because I'm not seeing the Phoenix mount. Huh. Oh well. Well. Alright, now over here is the guild vent guild master. So if you wanna form a guild, go to purchase a guild charter. Cost ten silver and you need what I think five I believe signatures to purchase a guild. And let's see, anything else? Uh, over here is the armory. If you wanna buy stuff. And then there's uh, more blacksmithing, a uh, blacksmithing trainer, blacksmithing tr uh, supplies, mining trainer, and that's it. And let's see, am I missing anything else? I think I covered everything. Nothing in here, nothing special in here except for this. Some no, some NPCs, right? Yeah, nothing in here at all. Okay, so I think I covered everything I have to show you guys in uh, retail well for Ogamore. So let's see. I already showed you that. This. Um. So let me uh, switch to my other character and I'll show you guys what the uh, wolf looks like when I uh, get my other character because I completed everything already so let me switch real quick. Okay so there's one more thing I forgot to show you guys before I switch to another character. So if you go to uh, up here and then if you go inside this right here, there's more vendors you can get. Uh, so this is the valor. Blood and so you can buy some more trench bomb that costs gold. Uh, like this cloak right here. Uh, here's another cloak. And there's a head. Another headpiece. A waist. Uh, that, there's this, chest, uh, wand, another wand, some hands, a head, some pants, no wait, it's legs, a uh, chest, some shoulders, hands, head, more legs, and some more stuff. So yeah, more transmog, Go forth and then over here, uh, this is from the Firelands, if you want some transmog out of here. So one, I have some hands, a head, uh, there's some legs, so some more transmog if you want. May your blades never dull. And then Stay over friend. here, more trench mug. There's a, a head off hand. Another one. Some legs. Uh, chest. Shoulders. Waist. A cloak. Another cloak. Some feet. And uh, some hands. So uh, yeah, uh, some more, more, and there we go. So yeah, yeah I forgot to show you guys about this place right here. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna be switching to the other character. All right, so I'm on my other character now. So this is what it looks like on the roof of Ogamar. So after you complete the scenario, after you do the battle for Lordaeron, the rooftop in Ogamon has been changed now. So let me show you what it looks like. 
so we got a wounded under city guardian and there's lots a uh, lots of um undead just chilling next to the fire the campfire and we got the under city i mean the yeah the under city quartermaster taking by a tab yard a cloak and a 16 slot bag embrace the shadow and then nothing over here except for bats. Uh, we got some horsemen over here. So you can buy the riding trainer if you want. And uh, there's another. So that there's like lots of undead and the uh, wounded under city guardians. So they're all wounded after the war of Lord of War or what happened. So they're trying to see like recover from the war. Alright, and then, uh, let's see, over here, there's, like, wounded soldiers sleeping until the uh, healed. And then, uh, so yeah, lots and lots of wounded people trying to get healed and get ready for maybe the next war. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like for on, the, on top of the rooftop in Orgamar. So yeah, pretty interesting once you complete the battle for Lord Ones and Uh so yeah. There you guys have it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video of how uh classic Ogoma used to be and how retail well of Ogoma how it is right now. And I hope you guys enjoy. See ya. Hello everybody, Evil Deal Master here, and thank you very much for watching this video of how classic Ogomo used to be when the game first came out in 2004, and how retail Ogomo is right now. And I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and make sure you click the bell so you can see more uploads on my channel, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter at Evil Deal Master. And follow me on Facebook at Evidio Master. And also follow me on Twitch at Evidio Master for more live streaming. And make sure you give me more questions. You can put them in the comments below. Or you can also put them on my Twitter, Facebook, and also on my Discord server as well for a future QA video. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to be closing this video. Now, see you guys next time. The next video. See ya.